This is a video, and in this video, I will show you how to do a cartwheel. But first, we must warm up. If you're already warmed up, skip the 205, that's when the tutorial starts. You don't have to do the same stretches that I'm doing, but you have to do stretches that mostly warm up your hips and shoulders. is mainly hip stretches. If you don't have your splits, Try this alternative I call the Pigeon Pose. Yes, it is called the Pigeon Pose. Now that we're all warmed up, now I'll show you how to actually do the cartwheel. If you're just starting out, I recommend going into the wall and kicking up to just see if you can hold your body up. If you can't, just do this a bunch of times until you can. This also will be really helpful in just getting used to being upside down. It doesn't have to be like a whole handstand, it just has to be enough so that you can hold yourself up and don't fall on your face. caution of where you're going to be doing a cartwheel because I have hit my foot many times on a wall or bed or something. It is very painful. Start in a lunge-like position. The kick off to a cartwheel is the same as the one on the exercise we did on the wall. But instead of kicking forward, you're going to kick and put your hands sideways so that they're basically lined up with your starting foot. With the foot that's not on the floor, you want to try to kick it over your body, basically. Once you're about here, one foot is on the ground, one foot is in the air, you want to just basically use the momentum from the leg that kicked up first to bring the other leg over. If you have trouble getting momentum to kick over, try adding a jump in the beginning. This kind of jump is called a hurdle, basically the foot that is on the ground first is the one that goes high and then it hits the ground and it creates a lot more momentum for your cartwheel. Now that we're here, both legs are off of the ground and you're basically in a handstand. You want to make sure both of your legs stay in a pretty deep straddle so that the leg that went up first hits the ground and then you can use the rest of your momentum to stand up. Your first one will probably look like this, but that's how mine's was too. You just have to keep doing it until you get it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you found this helpful and you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.